This episode of Congratulations is brought to you by the Cash App. Crazy, 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 crazy. What's up? It's me, and you're listening to Congratulations, the podcast, episode 126. Um, now, before we start, let's tell you where I'm going to be this week, and you can pick up some tickets. Some of it's sold out, but some of it is not. So I'm going to be in Hoover, Alabama on June 26th uh, for two shows, Memphis, Tennessee, June 27th, Chattanooga, Tennessee, why'd you name it that way, June 28th, and Knoxville, Tennessee, June 29th. Uh, I, now look, we still sit down and do the podcast. Am I stuffed up? Yes. Is my ear clogged? Yes. Was it clogged earlier in the week? No. And then when I took a flight back to LA, did it clog when I got in the air? Yes. Did I undo it by swallowing and opening up my mouth over and over again in the air? Yes. Was it fine in the air after that? Yes. And then when I land, did it get clogged? Yes. And then after I landed, did I try to do the swallowing and open their mouth to clear it up again? Yes. Did it work? No. So is it clogged now? Yes. Now, does that make me mad? Yes. Would I have rather it worked when I landed than when I was on the plane? Of course. But is that how life works out? No. It's got to be the most annoying way possible, and that's fine, because you know what? Honestly, we're still backing up the brink, truck, my babies. That's why. Okay? Now, I'm live on my app, <clears throat> and they're commenting right now. And you can download my app. Uh, just type in Crystalia uh, whenever the fuck you want. Uh, on the App Store, and Andrew Cavalier, cool ass name, said, comments right now on my live feed. I'm going to see you in Hoover on Wednesday. Well, there you go, buddy. I'll see you there. Um, and then another guy named Aaron Adams just wrote poop. So that's cool. Hey, um, so uh, all good. Grow up. It's all good. I, I really, really can't. I, I have no, um, I, I, there's, I mean, in, if there's anyone in the world that can't tell somebody else to grow up, it's me, okay? Because, I mean, I've made so many fart noises on this fucking uh, podcast and also talked about it's about this coming so much. So, um, But it's episode 126, and, uh, you know, it's cool. It's very cool. I just had a meeting with Josh Lieberman, my manager, and it was good. And the whole fucking, you know, he's he's my manager. He's like, yeah, look, yeah, is uh, look. He's him, and uh, it was all good. We had a good uh, meeting, so we're trying to develop some TV shows, and it's all good. Um, I don't know, you know, fucking this week was good. I was at a wedding, and also I was at a uh, a, a lake. So you figure it out, my babies. Dude, does Dalia go to the fucking lake? You're goddamn right he does. Ugh. I go to the lake. I chilled. I was in a kayak. You saw my Instagram. I was doing it like this. I was rowing. I was going. I was rowing like this, and I looked fucking good, dude. I looked beefy, man. My shoulders were fucking. You know, I was surprised I didn't sink or tip over, but it's all good. You can't be in a kayak without looking like you're a fucking paraplegic, by the way. It's just impossible because your legs are so fucking wedged in there. Um, now, was I sick? Kinda. Am I on the mend? Yeah. Uh, somebody comments on my app. Bodies of water, man, as good as it gets. Okay. All right, man. Sure. The name's Adam Bonesaw. <laughs> uh, change it. So, um, and then also, uh, I was in Philly for a wedding, and that was where uh, Mike Linochi fell down on the concrete because he was drunk and then farted. And it was hilarious, dude. He has so much fucking. Dude, he is a funny drunk, dude. He was so drunk where he was he get he got he was so drunk where he was like doing the thing with his fingers where he was just like it, the, people kind of become like Ray Charles when they get drunk you know like they're like like they're like a little bit autistic just like touching each each thumb to their fingers like this over and over again but like dude it was so it he was so drunk and he would just be like hey man hey 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 chill hey chill man hey man chill hey man chill hey you know what hey chill. That's what he kept saying. And they're like, hey, man, nobody's not chill. Nobody's not chill except you. <laughs> and I kept pulling his fucking, I'll, maybe I'll post him later, but I kept, he would sit down and I kept pulling on one of his arm down to the ground and he would just fall down to the ground. And like, hey, man, stop. Hey, come on, man, stop. And then he would just go to sit down again and I would just pull his fucking arm and he'd be like, hey, man, and he'd just fall on the ground. 
But dude, it's so funny to fuck with your drunk friends. And he fell so hard, dude. I saw it at the corner of my eye because I went to throw something away. Of course, I wasn't looking. And then I, at the corner of my eye, I saw like it seemed like when you catch someone falling out of the corner of your eye and it's nighttime, I caught like off the peripheral. It felt like, you know, when Dracula says, okay, bye bye, and he goes and turns into a bat. That's what it felt. That's what it felt like I saw at the corner of my eye. Like a guy just wisp into a fucking bat and, a, and fly away. But instead, it was my friend who was so drunk and fell on the fucking missed his step. Just straight up missed his step in his stupid nice shoes because you got to wear nice shoes at a wedding and fucking fell down. Dude, and he was the best part too was he was eating a fucking, he was eating a, um, uh, like me and my girl, we were at fucking Seven Eleven with him, and we were eating a. a, a he, she had to get Tylenol, and he got a fucking brownie with a bunch of fucking M and M's in it, and he was eating <laughs> like a fucking bitch, and he was eating that, and then fucking s- fell, and when he fell. The brownie fell on the ground and his face literally was saved hitting the concrete because it hit the fucking brownie. Dude, his face hit the brownie and he was laughing and he was he fell down. His ass was in the air. His ass was in the air like he was doing like the fucking the worm. You know how in the 80s they used to do that break dance and shit. But then he got stopped. It was like the color wheel was over his fucking ass while he was doing the worm. It was like his his screen got froze. Right in the middle of him doing the worm, the breakdancer worm. And dude, we were dying. And I thought he turned into a bat. And I looked over and he was falling on the ground with his head. <laughs> Had he still fucking put the last piece of chocolate in his mouth while he was laughing? And dude, I, I started recording it. You got to go on my Instagram. I started recording it. And as soon as I started recording it, <laughs> he was laughing and he goes, oh. And I swear to God, it goes, <laughs> and he farted, bro. Bro, he fell and he farted? Dude. He's 35 or 36, and he fell and he farted. You only fall and you fart at the same... You can fall. You can fart. But falling and farting? Bro, you're either 8 or 80. You're not 35 falling and farting. Because he was laughing too hard. He was laughing too hard on the ground, and he couldn't let... He couldn't, like, let... He couldn't close his sphincter you know because he was laughing so hard and his ass was arched up like he was trying to get fucked like he was car to be and he fucking couldn't stop laughing and he was just like ah ha, ha. seriously you need to chill you need to chill and just <laughs> so anyway i can't tell anyone to grow up let's see if i could find the um the instagram here i'm gonna go to my instagram page bro yeah got it right here here we go Do you hear that fart, bro? Farted! How how happy am I, by the way? I sound like fucking Burt Kreischer. You hear that? He farted too. (laughs) Oh, he farted! Did you hear that? He farted too. (laughs) Oh, he farted! Bro, it was one of those. Is one of those, bro? Danny Vick, when I was in in New Jersey, used to do fart noises with just his lips, which I thought was a fucking shit move. He would just be like, and I'd be like, bro, it's you got to put your teeth over your fucking bottom lip when you do fart noises, right? And Danny Vick's like, nah, bro. And he would just go, and one time Danny Vick had a fucking uh, tank top on, a green tank top. And I said, bro, and I wanted to see if Danny Vick had fucking armpit hair yet. And I said, bro, can you make a muscle? Let me see how big your muscles are. And he goes like this and he makes a muscle. And I said, oh, cool. And he said, I know why you made me do that. I said, why? He said, you want to see if I had arm hair yet, armpit hair yet. And I said, no, he caught me though. But Danny Vick used to make the fucking thing that would go with his lips. That's the, fu- he was predicting the future, bro. This is the minority, he was the minority, fu- minority report of farts. He knew that today, that fucking this weekend, Mike Lenucci was going to fall and just <laughs> fart with the lip shit. <laughs> Tell me that's not two lips together and not a fucking buck teeth over the fucking bottom lip fart. <laughs> he farted too. <laughs> Bro, how did it get so fucking loud in the s- phone? I thought for sure it wouldn't pick up. And it went, <laughs> Bro. And why did he dress like fucking queer? I, oh my god, dude, he set it up. He fucking I, 
it's I showed up to the wedding. I had a long sleeve fucking nice shirt and a blazer ish type jacket and fucking dark, dark jeans. You could barely tell their jeans and then fucking Gucci sh- slipper shits. You know what I mean? Not slippers, but you know what I mean? And he <clears throat> and he showed up in a suit. And he was trying to clown me for not wearing a fucking suit. And this dude looked like fucking swear to God, like queer. I dressed him up and then was like, well, that was the best we could do. And then he got so drunk and fell on the streets of Philadelphia and fucking farted, bro. And oh, and it was so annoying, too. Because he he this guy saw us. Oh, it was so annoying. This guy's so annoying. And this is what you know what I'm talking about. He's fucking, he was like 45 to 50. And there was a guy there. And, and he was so, he, as soon as Mike fell and farted, he said, the guy was walking by and he says, oh, I blew his knee up. And I was like, what? He blew his knee out. I was like, nah, he's going to be fine. No, no, no. I saw the whole thing go down. He blew his knee out. And I was like, ah, he didn't blow his knee out. And he was like, oh, yeah, he did. I saw it. And I was like, all right, man, you're ruining the fun, dude. If your friend falls and farts, I don't fucking get all up in your face and be like, hey, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. Dude, let me laugh at my friend, catch the fart on video, because he fucking fell and farted on the streets of Philadelphia, bro. Do you understand how funny that is, bro? It's like this shit. This is Mike's theme song. That's it right there. To put the dog barking in the video. Right there. That's it. So disrespectful to Bruce Springsteen, but that's what Mike did. Right here. Listen. Yeah. Oh, he farted! I gotta turn the volume down on this, so. He farted too! Right here. Oh, he farted! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? He farted too! Oh, he farted! <laughs> Did you hear that? He farted too! Oh, he farted! Dude, he fell in the streets of Philadelphia and farted too. looking like Queer Eye, dude. <laughs> Dressed like fucking Jimmy Neutron's alcoholic dad, just <laughs> farting. Dude. <laughs> Bro, he dressed like a fucking hairdresser and just fucking down for the count. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, dude. He still does the faux hawk shit, you know? Oh, fuck, that's so goddamn funny. 2019 with a faux hawk falling down in a suit, fucking farting on the streets of Philadelphia, dude. What's better than that? It's better than coming. Dude. Oh, well, I have so much video, too. I'm probably going to post the rest of it. I got to fo- post the rest of it. Oh, man. There was so much video. I kept pulling his arm down. I got to post all those. God damn. It's so funny to dress so nice and then get so fucked up. And then he kept telling the DJ. He's like, come on. The DJ will play a song. It's so annoying when people like try to tell the DJ what to do. It was so annoying that he and he was like, "Come on, spoof it up." He kept saying, "Spoof it up, dude." I was like, "Do you mean what do you mean? Spruce it up? What are you talking about? Do you know what spoof is?" And he kept saying, "Spoof it up, bro." Come on. <laughs> Spoof it up, dude. I fucking love friends, man. I love friends. And then he fucking straight up was like, one time he was we were video recording and he goes like this. Hey, don't record me. There's animals. <laughs> don't record me. There's animals. Dude, drunk people are amazing, dude. What else did he do? Oh, fuck, man. Oh, it was so annoying, too, because during the wedding, whenever, you know how people, like, will be, like, during the wedding, like, people just, when people are giving speeches during the wedding, somebody will be like, yeah, 
And, you know, she's going to be a doctor soon about the, the bride. And everyone will be like, yeah, woo I would go, I would go like that. I would do this. I would go, yeah. <laughs> Dude. And then I was like, shit, I don't want to ruin their wedding video. But every now and then, sparingly, I would go, yeah. And nobody even caught that it was weird because they were just everyone was doing that. Oh, shit, man. Spoof it up. Danny Vic. I don't know how Danny Vic knew. Maybe I, maybe my eyes told a story. Maybe that's why. Maybe Danny Vic caught me while my eyes were telling a story looking down to his armpit hair. Got to be better with my fucking move. I got to be better. I would have been dead in, in that fucking book, 1984. I'm in the middle of reading that book, 1984, by George Orwell. And that's the thing. You can't even have face crime. That's the thing. Think about that shit, dude. I think it, by the way, I agree with a lot of shit going on in the book 1984. I know people are like, oh, this totalitarian, totalitarian, I can never say the word, Tot total, total, I can't ever fucking say the word, totalitarian, okay, there. So, and people are like, no, we can't have that, fuck that, dude, that's, that's the shit. Face crime is a real thing. You gotta have face crime. Seriously. If, if, they'll put you in jail if, if Big Brother says some shit over the telescreens and then you go like this. But that's it. That's your ass, dude. Face crime. You got to cheer. You got to be like, yeah. That's what you got to do. In my world, that's how it is. I'm not going to kill anybody. And I'm not going to go, you know, in the log cabin. It's not, this is not, you can do what you want. It's about fucking and sucking. You know what I mean? But you can't. But you can't do face crime, dude. If I'm talking in the log cabin and somebody goes like this, the fuck, you're out, dude. Go, take it. Take a fucking hike. Take a fucking straight up hike. You can't do face crime at the log cabin. That's 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 uh, that's an offense. If I say some shit like, you know what, guys. I saw some vests earlier. We're not going to have vests, okay? There's going to be no vests. And you, and you say, oh, what the fuck? I go like this, get out. And that's you. And then you got to walk across the fucking... <laughs> oh, he farted! <laughs> Did you hear that? He farted too. <laughs> oh, he farted! <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> There's a little fart afterwards. You can't really hear it. But he went... <laughs> I said, oh, he farted! And he goes... Bro, it's so funny too. Like when, when it's so funny to think about like earlier, like when the guy sold him the suit, you know, like he did not think like, oh, he's going to fucking fart in this suit, but he did. That's amazing. I love that kind of shit. Um, but yeah, you can't do face crime, bro. I agree with so much of the shit in the 1984 book. I agree with it, man. Thought crime, face crime. It's real. Because you can't, you can't, if the guy's, how much? How many times in your life have you wanted to knock somebody out that has that's gone like this? Pfft. How many times? How many times you said something and somebody goes like? Pfft. One time I said something. It was, I was nineteen. I was doing a movie. I forget the name of the movie. It was a fate was in death. Bad Girls in Valley High is what it's called. You can get it on some fucking sh thing. I don't know. I was nineteen. And I was in the hotel room with a bunch of actors and shit. And there was somebody on. Uh, like it was like a show like uh Jerry Springer and they were dressed so funky and I was like damn look at that that's crazy how they're dressed and some guy goes one of the actors who's actually kind of famous right now and I'm not going to blow up his spot but this guy was a fucking dick to me um he go he says uh bro you ever been in New York like and I of course I wanted to knock him out and I go like this my man I live in L.A. You know? Don't come at me with your stupid New York shit. By the way, yeah, I've been in New York. I'm from New Jersey. My dad used to work in New York. Don't fucking come at me with that face crime shit. Don't come at me when I'm like, whoa, look at that guy. He's crazy. And then this guy comes up to me and he's like this. You ever been to New York? Brett, Brett. Face crime. <laughs> Don't face crime me in a fucking hotel room in Vancouver, British Columbia, dude. 
You're going to do face crime to me in Canada talking about New York? I'm from L.A., dude. Fucking ass. Get out of here. He's an all right actor. He's a good actor, you know. But I don't give a shit, dude. Because you did face crime. And if you do face crime, you're out. A anyway, my point is, I would have lost. In 1984, I would have got fucking studded up the whole time. I would have got studded, studded. I would have got studded up every day. Because there's no way I could hold my face crime. I can't. Thought crime? No way. I'm thinking of everyone a fucking idiot. I mean, I'm, are you fucking kidding me? No way. A girl passed me a note that says she loved me. I would, my heart would have beat it, and I would have been like, "Oh my god!" Stuttered, stuttered up in jail for years, vaporized. Anyway, dude, face crime's a real thing, and we gotta fucking get in control of it. It's 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 like th that kind of thing is what this that kind of thought is what this podcast is largely against. That kind of like, bro, you ever been in New York? That thought. Is what this po that kernel of what that guy is is what this this podcast is against. The guy who's always trying to seem more interesting than the next guy. No, because you've been in New York, you're somebody, bro. Get the fuck out of here. It's like the whole fucking. It's like it's like it's like the thing. It's like the dad bod thing. It's like the pizza thing. Oh, I'm so interesting. How much I like pizza, and I'm so skinny. Go fuck yourself, dude. You're not interesting. Get a personality. Don't eat pizza. Get a person. Don't buy a pizza. Get a personality. Get a personality with some fucking toppings on it, dude. Get a meat lover's personality. Okay? Get a Papa John's personality. Because you're not fucking interesting just because you ordered a pizza and posed near it. Now, that's the kind of shit that we're talking about, my babies. This dad bod shit. Shit. Take a take a fucking lunch. Take a fucking hike. Bring your lunch. Dude, dad bod, you're not interesting because you say, I prefer a dad bod over a six-pack. I get the sentiment. I get what you're saying. You don't like guys that take themselves too seriously, and you don't like a guy who's too in of himself. But that doesn't mean you want a fat guy face crime. That doesn't mean that. And if you say that, you're not interesting because you think you are. And the least interesting people are the people who think they're interesting. Oh, dude, me? I'm quirky. I like a guy with love handles. No, you don't. Take any guy you... Take your boyfriend. You'd like it if he fucking trimmed up a little bit, period. You don't... Oh, but I like his dad, but no. What you're saying is you like his personality. We get that. But also, hey, bud, tighten it up. Go ahead, make excuses. Make excuses for everybody. That's fine. We're all going to be fucking fat pieces of shit. That's it. I can tell well beyond your shit, man. And and you should be able to, too. That's the sentiment that this podcast is all against. And that's why this is a cult. And we are fighting against that shit. Fucking dad bod. There are people who literally think, no, I actually really do prefer a dad bod. instead. No, you don't, dude. No, you don't. And people are like, oh, well, okay, if Chris D'Elia says, okay, straight white male says, fucking people were like, straight white male says dad bods are out. Okay, fine. Dude, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, fine. But that's not the truth. Lie to yourself. Also, and then in the article where they were like, hey, dad bods are in. It's like it showed Leonardo DiCaprio and fucking Chris Pratt from seven years ago. You mean guys with money and fame are in? Show a real dad bod guy. Show some guy you saw at the fucking shop right earlier. Getting a bunch of ham and some rolls. Show that guy. Oh, you don't. Because who is he? A fat guy. <laughs> a fat. Um, and it's fine to be fat and it's fine to love who you are. You should. 
oh, I'm comfortable in my own body. Great, cool. Be comfortable. Be fat and comfortable. But don't act like you're more attracted to a dad bod than you are with a guy who's got a fucking, you know, who's trimming it up. I'm not talking about the guy who's fucking obnoxiously large and muscle-wise. That guy's annoying as fuck, too. Or annoying as fuck, rather. Not too, because nobody's annoying but him. Uh, Listen. If you're like me, you're always paying attention to your bank account balance. Now I am always a paying attention, paying attention to my bank account balance because I got to make sure no dance. And the moment you see you're going to be overdrawn, it's too late. Now, if you got no dance, that rarely happens. But some people have dents. You end up sit, uh, spending thirty-seven dollars on a cup of coffee thanks to the bank fees. Hey, thanks a lot, bank fees. Introducing the Dave app. Putting an end to overdraft fees for good. Now, Dave is the number one budgeting app in America uh, because it saves you from overdraft fees, tells you about upcoming bills, and can advance you $75 from your next paycheck with no credit check and no interest. Get the Dave app and just for just $1 per month. That's $12 a year, which is way less than an overdraft fee, and you'll never have to pay one again. And you'll be like, oh, how much does this pay? This cost this to remind me over to that's gotta pay. That's gotta at least cost seventy five thousand dollars. No, one dollar per month. Dave will help you budget for upcoming expenses, text you if you're spending too much. Uh and it's great. Uh Mark Cuban is an investor in Dave because he got crushed by overdraft fees in his twenties. Now he's got no dents, but He's trying to help you out here. So go to dave.com slash congrats. It really helps the show if you let them know you heard them here. Then download Dave and never pay another overdraft fee again. It's immediate savings. Go now, dave.com slash congrats. Spelled just like it sounds, D-A-V-E, dave.com slash congrats. Quip, I like to keep my teeth clean, but I don't really know how to do it, you know? It's time for spring cleaning. Quip's got an easy way to start, and Quip helps you Keep your teeth clean. And it helps you know how to do it, too. Uh, Brushing habits. Just two minutes twice a day can help pave the way to a healthier mouth and mind. And now the whole family can get refreshed with Quip. The new Kids Quip has the same two-minute timer, which is what helps me, and guiding pulses, which is what helps me to our uh, as our original version with no childish gimmicks. So they both, if you have two kids, they both can. Or if you have three kids, they all can. Or even more, you all can brush just like a grown-up. Like they're... Dad or mom, which is cute. And you want to be cute, right? Uh, so it's got sensitive sonic vibrations, a built-in two-timer. Uh, it's got built-in two-timer pulses, a multi-use cover that you can stick it up. It works as a stand, and you can also stick it on your uh, mirror, which is very cool. Uh, brush heads are automatically delivered uh, every three months for just $5, a friendly reminder when it's time for a refresh and to stay committed to your oral health. Quip is... Uh, Great for keeping my teeth dentist clean on the road. And that's why I love Quip and why 1 million happy, healthy mouths do too. Quip starts at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash congrats, right now you'll get your first refill pack for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash congrats. You know, is what it is. Juan Fire came in with the fucking... Let's break now and do another ad la- later because we got the fucking shortest shit. Remember when I got mad at him because of the shortest shit one was coupled with the two, not coupled with the three? He came through on fire. I got the more ads later, but I got the shortest shit one coupled with the two. So it's great. Um, yeah, man. We get it. Be comfortable with your body. Sure, for sure. But also, it's better to be trim. It's better to be healthy. It's better to be moving. It's better to be active, dude. You know? I was at the Benjamin Franklin Museum in Philly. That dude was not active. He, Although he lived to be like 84. And he was not active. And he was fucking in so much pain for the later part of his life. And he had gout because he never fucking moved around. And liked to eat cheese or whatever the fuck. Cheese is so good. Dude, I could never be vegan because of cheese. There's no way. Put cheese in my casket when I die. I love cheese. Don't really put it in my casket. It would smell bad. Not that I would be smelling it, but just in case you can smell when you die, don't put cheese in my casket. Um, But Benjamin Franklin was... He invented so many fucking things, it was insane. How were you... Remember, it's, remember when, like, inventor was a job? 
I mean, I know it still kind of is. You can still invent stuff like Elon Musk, but he's like the only invent, like inventor where it was like, oh, I got to keep coming up. Like in the in the 1700s, you could be like, yeah, I got to come up with a new thing because I'm an inventor because we only got like 17 things so far. Now everything's kind of been invented and you got to like really be really fucking smart to be an inventor. But back then you could have been a fucking, you could have been like Mike Lenoche and been a fucking inven- an inventor. Be like, yeah, you know, this helps when you fall down and you're laughing. It, it's, it, you don't fart. You put it in your butt. I'm like, oh, you invented the fucking no fart plug. You can't now. You got all sorts of butt plugs. Um, but did you know Ben Franklin like loved to fucking live it up? He loved to fuck hookers. Of course he did. When I heard that, I went like this. Of course he did, dude. Of course Ben Franklin loved to get fucking love to Berber. Of course Ben Franklin loved to Berber when he went brek cat cat Of course he did. And you know when he got blowjobs, he would go, <laughs> you know it. After the sandwich, I'll get a, you know, I'd love to sit in my chair. He had a blowjob chair, for sure. After the sandwich, I'd love to sit in my blowjob chair and just take a relaxing sit. I'd love to take a sit. And they would be so disrespectful, but it wasn't disrespectful back then. Excuse me, could you fetch me a milky whore? You know? And she would come by with her fucking tits all out and shit. And he would be like, I'm going to sit in my blowjob chair. And while I finish this, you know, while I finish this bread sandwich, like he would just be this cheese bread sandwich. Would you mind if I just unloaded my sack into your trachea? And she'd be like, sure, because I invent. And he'd sit there, and then she'd do it, and then he'd have his fucking eat his sandwich on his belly while he was getting just sucked off. And he would be like, oh, 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 oh." that's how he would bust. And then she'd leave, and he would, like, invent a fucking visor, you know? This keeps your hat, your head cool, but still the sun out of your eyes. <laughs> now let me take, you know, I would love to get sucked by a milky whore. Let me undress. Give me 35 minutes because I'm wearing too many things. You see what they wore? Dude, they, they have guys in Philly, like in the area where all the museums are. They have guys still dressed like that, like for fun. And I'm just like, bro, it's summer, you know? Why do you have seven pair of pants on and two boots? And a fake, like, like just an extra pouch and billowy-ass fucking pants. It's 85 degrees. Uh, you don't need to do that. Who are you doing this for? The kids? They don't really give a fuck. You could just give them a lollipop and they'd be much happier. He preferred older women as lovers. Did you know that? And this is why. I have an excerpt from what the fuck it is. This is unbelievable that he wrote this shit and it was public. Because if you wrote something like this, you're canceled right now. The faced, he would just write shit. Benjamin Franklin didn't give a fuck. He would just write shit. This was a letter he wrote to some people. You could just like be like, when you were in the 1700s, you just write a letter and then just send it to a bunch of people and that counted as a book. This is what he says. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms, the lower parts continuing to the last as plump as ever, so that covering all above with a basket and regarding only what is below the girdle, it is simply impossible of two women to know an old from a young one, and as in the dark all cats are grey, the pleasure of corporal enjoyment with an old woman is at least equal and frequently superior, every knack being, by practice, capable of improvement. Ah! Sa- Cancelled! Dude, this is the part that is the fucking disrespectful, dude. This is the part. And as in the dark, all cats are gray. Ugh. Doesn't matter. And then this part. So that covering all above, meaning above the waist, with a 
basket. <laughs> Basically, he is the two live crew of his fucking generation. Being like, yeah, put a paper bag over her face if she's ugly. And just fucking empty your sack in her. Hey, Ben Franklin. Dude, he's ca- Ben Franklin's canceled, bro. I know he discovered electricity and invented the bifocals. You know why he invented the... I don't know why he invented the bifocals. Didn't matter what fucking rumps were looking like. All cats are gray when you dim the lights. That's just to go... That's just to show you, dude. It's a sign of the times, and the times are always a-changing. And also, the leaders are always the most fucking insane people. Donald Trump, Kanye West, whoever the fuck you want to say they are, they're always the most insane. When Donald Trump said, yeah, it was nice fucking Iran didn't shoot, didn't fucking murder 130 people in cold blood. That was nice to them. Hey, you're crazy. And that's what that's who the leaders are. And the dark all cats are gray talking about women. Eh, se, sexist. Hey, put it. Oh, dude, let me write a letter to a bunch of people and count it as a book. Hey, dude, just put a bag over her face if she's old and then fuck her. (laughs) <laughs> this guy was a leader. Wow, dude. Yeah, talk about dad bod. That guy had a granddad bod. So insane, dude. Crazy how times have changed. Right? Okay. I guess, you know. I'm so stuffed up and it's all good, dude. I don't give a shit, you know. I'm not letting this shit take me down. Um, lying ass dad bod motherfuckers bro you know this app cameo that where you can like be on cameo and you rec- can record personal messages for people who are fans of yours I got on cameo Every, anytime there's a new app I get on it because I, I feel like I should be on the new shit Never know what's going to become the next Instagram, whatever. And I also like doing social media. And I never know if I'm going to like it until I already use it for a bunch. So I got the app Cameo. And these motherfuckers, dude, I got Cameo and I put it on for $1,000. Because I saw other people were doing them for like 50 bucks. So, dude, here's the deal, okay? I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not recording personal messages for people for like fucking $30 a pop. Dude, I'm not going out there. Hey, Jason, heard it was your birthday. Hey, Chris D'Elia here. Live it up, no dents, and send it to them. Like, and then you get that for fucking 30. It's not worth it to me, okay? Be a fan, cool. Not recording personal messages all day to make fucking $700. You know what I'm saying? It's just not my bag. Also, so I put it up. I was like, what's the most I could charge? A thousand bucks. No way I'm doing it for less than a thousand bucks. No fucking way. So couldn't do it for more because Cameo wouldn't let you. You think I wouldn't do it for 50 grand? You're out of your fucking mind, dude. I want to be the most expensive guy on Cameo. Don't give a fuck, okay? I, 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 uh, so I did it. Got a few requests. Actually got like seven requests for a Cameo person. I'm like, bro, I'm going to make seven grand off this shit. So all of a sudden, I'm like, all right, maybe I'll do it, even though I don't want it. Did one, okay? Two things happened. Felt cheap as shit because I was like, eh, you can't. What am I going to do, like, 90 of these, and they're going to be all over the internet, like, hey, fucking Alyssa, hope your bar mitzvah was good, bar mitzvah, what do you call them for chicks? Bat mitzvah, pick one, you know, pick your fucking, I hope your mitzvah was good, I'm calling them all mitzvahs from now on, hope your, hope your mitzvah was good, and then... <clears throat> And then that's it. And I'm not going to do... I'm going to do seven of these? No. So then I was like, all right, I might not do it again. Then I found out Cameo takes 25%. Bro, are, I, look, Cameo, respect your hustle. But also, you... Uh-oh. You want to take that much money from me? So I didn't do another one, okay? Not doing another one unless I can charge out the fucking anus you understand me dude i'm not not doing it dude it's too you got to draw the line somewhere i'm not hey new app new app give your phone number to fans 
for 50 bucks. They can call you whenever they want. No. I'm fucking out of your mind, dude. Um, so, I, you know, so they took fucking 25% of the shit. And I'm like, all right, so I'm never doing it again. Dude, I swear to God, they, the people on Cameo, they email me, they text me, they fucking do all the shits. They're like, hey, you got booked again. I don't give a fuck, okay? I respect your hustle. All good. Do what you got to do because I get it. But no, dude, I'm not doing it. All right. I'll make money other ways. So they got me on their goddamn website. Like you can get a cameo for me. You can't. All right. I didn't know that they put me on their fucking website either. I didn't know that shit, bro. It, you could put me on the shit if I can charge 50K for a shout out so I can. But bro, you're going to take fucking, how much are you going to take from that 50K? You're going to take 12 grand from that? I understand. But bro, give me at least fucking 38 of that shit. Look at what I'm on my bio. I ain't doing this shit for less than 1K. I make it more, but Cameo doesn't allow me to do it. You think I don't mean it? Say half ass with the chorus in this song. Say half ass in the chorus. Check it out. Right here. Say half ass. Come on. Here, it's so half ass. Say half ass! No face crime in this. They don't. Right here. Say half ass. Like, literally, when they were younger, their dad would beat the shit out of them when they laughed. When they laughed at stuff that wasn't technically funny, according to the dad. Ha ha ha. No face crime in that video. They're like, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. And if they make one move with their face, ha ha, face crime. And then, zzz, so they laugh, ha 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 ha. But my point is, look at look at these people charging this shit. For, look at this, look at this. Uh, Chuck Liddell, what's he charged for this thing? Can we tell? 125 bucks for a shout out. Okay, fine. Now look, that guy, I don't know if he's got money in like real estate or some shit. His fighting career is probably, you know, He's probably not fighting too much anymore. I get it. He's, I'm sure he's made millions of dollars, I think. Scroll up. Lance Bass. Wait. Brett Favre. Brett Favre, 500 bucks. Why? What the fuck is Brett Favre doing this for? Does he got a, a Skechers deal or some shit? Uh, you know, these influencers I get. Bernie Furlon. Dr. Drew, $198. What the fuck is this shit? I love Dr. Drew. What the fuck is he doing? 198 Also, <laughs> he's making 200 What are you, a fucking... What are you, a, a, a pair of speakers? Look at it. Pauly Shore, 150 Paulie's fine. Brian Callen, $100. The fuck are you doing? The fuck are you doing? Guy makes a million dollars on his goddamn podcast. The fuck does he need $100 to say, Hey, Craig, hope you're having a good uh, fucking 25th birthday. Joey Fatone. Look at this shit. Kevin O'Leary. The fucking billionaire on Shark Tank for $9.99. $999. What the fuck is he doing? Bro, don't you own Earth? What is wrong with these motherfuckers? What the fuck is wrong with everybody on Cameo? For real. Honestly. Well, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Go up. Look at, look at some of these mice. Fucking m- motherfuckers. Look at this shit. Ryan Cabrera, $40. The fuck? Go up a little more. Who's this? Ruth. B- Johnny Damon, 100. This guy signed a fucking contract for like 3000 million in fucking 2009. And he's, he, hey, what's up? Johnny Damon here. Used to play for the fucking Bo Sox. Just want to wish you a happy anniversary to you and your wife. Go ahead, slugger. For 100 fucking dollars? The guy's going to make $75 off this shit because Cameo takes his shit. Fucking glass everywhere. If it ain't about no money, puff, I just I understand, Johnny. Fucking Damon. 
I, it's, just, it's just unbelievable, this shit. Neo, dude! 125, that dude, Neo, seriously, makes for real $50 million just stepping into Europe. He just steps onto European land and makes $50 million, okay? This guy's charging $125 for a person. You know what? How about this? No, no bullshit. Uh, now, I'm not, only, I'm not on Cameo anymore for that. I'm buying a fucking personalized message to Neo, from Neo. That's what I'm fucking doing right now. After this podcast... I am purchasing a fucking personalized message from Neo. I'm going to give him $125 because I want him to be like, yo, what's up, Chris D'Elia? Hey, how you doing? It's Neo. Even though this dude makes $50 million as soon as the fucking Learjet door opens in fucking Sweden. As soon as that shit opens, a guy shows up with a briefcase and goes, here's 50 mil cash. And Neo fucking moonwalks backwards into the fucking plane and goes back. He doesn't even need to perform. I'm going to buy a fucking shout out from Neo on Cameo. Straight up. So hopefully we'll have it by next week. Why am I not doing this? Why am I not buying all these, by the way? I'm buying all these motherfuckings. Why have I not thought of this? It's unbelievable I haven't thought of this. Speaking of making fucking money. Hey, guys, look, guys are terrible at taking care of their health, whether it's a knee injury, bad back, or something worse. Guys are usually more comfortable rubbing some dirt on it than seeing a doctor. I'm guilty of it myself. The same is true for erectile dysfunction. Studies show 70% of guys who experience erectile dysfunction don't get treated for it. Thankfully, Roman created an easy way to get checked out by a doctor and get treated for ED online. Having trouble going brekkakakakak? Check out Roman. Roman is a one-stop shop where you can chat with a licensed U.S. physician who can treat ED and, if safe and appropriate, ship medication right to your door. Uh, <clears throat> with Roman, there are no waiting rooms, no awkward face-to-face -face conversations, no uncomfortable trips to the pharmacy. You can handle everything discreetly online. Uh, all you have to do is visit GetRoman.com slash congrats, complete an online visit, chat with the doctor, and if the doc doctor decides it will be safe and appropriate, uh, then they'll ship genuine medication right to your door in discreet, unmarked packaging. So you don't have to be embarrassed if that were to embarrass you. Um, for a free online visit, go to GetRoman.com slash congrats. That's GetRoman.com slash congrats for a free online visit. GetRoman.com slash congrats. No bull. That's no bull. It's time to demand more from your workout gear the way you demand more from yourself, right? No Bull is a footwear, apparel, and accessory brand for m people who train hard and don't believe in excuses, like me. No Bull is on a mission to create products built for people who train hard day after day. No Bull doesn't believe in excuses or BS, and that's why you won't find any in their footwear, apparel, or accessories. Wear and tear is welcome. No Bull has you covered. Don't let the simple design fool you. No Bull's gear is built to perform. Uh, launched in 2015, No Bull has become a key disruptor in the fitness uh, industry. <clears throat> the philosophy is don't put anything on a product that doesn't do anything. Take everything off that you don't need. And be honest about what the product does, right? Uh, for simple, durable, and functional training gear, visit No Bull project.com slash congrats training gear for people who work hard and don't believe in excuses visit no bull project.com slash congrats and get your gear today that's n-o-b-u-l-l-p-r-o-j-e-c-t dot com slash congrats congratulations is brought to you by cash app which is an app which is like a dream your phone has that's what they paid me to say, my babies. So that's what we're saying. Uh, but yeah, dude, you know what I'm talking about. Ha ha. La la. Oh, Doesn't rhyme. So basic. Dude, Mace, you know? Mace. Quit, became a pastor, then tried to get back in the rap game. That's not going to work. Hey, Mace. 
Hello? This is Earth. Oh, yeah. Wait, hello, I have more to say. Doesn't matter. Hey, Mace, this is Earth. You don't get to quit, become a passer for 10 years, and then come back, and all of a sudden... When I'm in the club, G, though I know the thug be wanting to slug me. Uh-huh. Could it be I move as smooth as Bugsy? Yeah. Or be at the bar? I'm pissed that this fucking arm is just taking a day off. This fucking thing's got ED. For fuck's sake, dude. Can't wait to get a fucking cameo from Neo, dude. Oh, how much can you get one from Sean Astin for fucking $250, dude? Somebody tweeted, were like, oh, the only thing funny about Chris Lee is that he thinks he's worth $1,000 getting Dude, shut the fuck up. This shit is priceless, bro, unless you want to pay 50 k <clears throat> Um, But that's what it is. That's what it is. Um. Cool. Um, when I was, dude, I was thinking about this when I was a kid. Um, I the earliest memory you have. Do you remember the earliest memory you have? It's like it's like hard to remember beyond before like three. You know, I remember when my my brother was delivered. Um, they say that like a baby's a pizza, but I remember when my brother was born and he came home. And I was, he was in the car, and I asked my mom, because I was sitting next to him, and he was in the car seat, and I was like, why does he have wrinkly hands? And my mom said, what? And he says, his finger was all wrinkly. And my mom was like, oh, that happens to babies because they're, you know, that's just their, their skin isn't ready yet or some shit. I remember that. And then I also remember uh, that day when my brother got home, uh, my grandpa got me a He-Man toy. And when they gave me the He-Man toy, and they said, oh, Chris, isn't that cool? I said, yeah, but he just got me that because he's here. And I pointed to my brother. He's as smart as a three-and-a-half-year-old. Because they're trying to make me feel good and also worth something, even though my brother was in the world now. And he was still and he stole my thunder. And it's all good. But that day he stole my thunder because he was born. Okay. But I also remember a time, one of the other earliest memories I ever had was when I was in my bedroom as a young, young kid, young, young boy. Um, there were I had crayons in this yellow box. I forget what the yellow box was called, but you would unlatch the box, open it up, and they were open. And I took the crayons off and I started drawing on the wall. And my parents came in later and they were like, oh my God, what the fuck did you do? You drew all over the wall? And I remember having the feeling thinking, what? You can't draw, you can't color on the wall? I remember feeling like, oh, I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Dude, how crazy is that? That I remember a time learning about how, like I didn't know it was bad to color on the wall. And that was when I learned it was bad to deface stuff. That's fucking, I felt good that I remembered that. I remember thinking like, oh my God, I didn't mean to do something bad. Why is this fucking thing not work? Okay, well, this is breaking, but we'll fix it. One fire literally just goes, uh-oh. Um, but yeah, I remember that. What's your earliest memory? Tweet me. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. But still... You should think about it for yourself because, you know, if it's when you were like 12, you got fucking huge problems. Or you're trying to fucking hide something. Um, <clears throat> this is another thought I had that I never fucking thought about. But like we have balls and a, a dick, you know, guys. And like think about how uncomfortable that is for real. Like you don't think about how uncomfortable it is because just how you are. But think about if you just balls and dicks didn't exist, and then all of a sudden we just got balls and dicks. All, we would never not think about it. Every second of the day, we'd be like, oh, fuck. They'd be like, yo, will you, you want to go gra- grab a soda out of the fridge? You'd be like, oh, I, got this, I got this balls and dick. I don't know, man. I, I, I just want to be careful, you know? Can we Postmates it? You'd be like, yeah, but not right to your chair. You'd be like, oh, all right, I'll go get a fucking, I'll tell you, what, when I'm hungry, I'll get up. Because then I got to get food and the drink. That's crazy that we have balls and dick. That's insane that we just have this fucking target in the middle of our bodies. 
that can be lightly brushed up against and ruin our fucking hour. That's insane. And we just have them? Girls don't have them. Bro, if a girl gets kicked in the, in the you know, in the, I don't like to say it like this, but if a girl gets kicked in the twat, then she gets fucking, she's like, ow, but it hurts like she gets punched in the arm. If you get kicked in the balls, it hurts like you get kicked in your nucleus, dude. You getting kicked in your nucleus? That shit is probably would hurt as much. It probably hurts more than if someone were to reach inside and squeeze your brain. And we just have them on us? That's bullshit. Jesus Christ should have made some fucking protective gear. You know, we had to do it manually as humans. We had to make a jock strap. Bro, Jesus, get on it. We got balls on the outside? Come on, bro. Make a fucking football helmet, you know. Give us football helmets over our balls, and we could have different teams and shit. But like, oh, you got, oh, you got the Eagles. I would, I would get the Viking. I would like to get the Vikings. I would like to have purple ones, a purple one, you know. Anyway, that's all I'm saying is you don't realize how fucking dainty balls are, uh, until you think about what if we just got them. Yeah, and that's probably the most important thing I possibly said on this whole podcast today or maybe even ever remember that episode 126 i think so yeah watch out for your balls dude girls don't get it too one time i got hit in my balls and i was playing t-ball i was playing second base and the and the the dude the kid hit the ball off the t-ball and i went to go catch it and i missed it and hit my balls and i was so embarrassing and the coaches came up and they were like oh no well where did it hit you and i said my stomach and they said oh phew and I realized that they said phew because it, it wasn't my balls, but it was my balls. But I was too embarrassed. So I could have done some real damage. Luckily, doesn't matter. I can still go brack a cat 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 and boing, boing, boing. I could still berber with the best of them. I could still fucking realize cats are, in the darkest of times, cats are gray. In the dimmest of light, cats are gray. I could still put a basket over the top half of a woman and realize cats are gray. Benjamin Franklin, eh? Perv. You know what Benjamin Franklin invaded, invented? The, the fucking bifocals, discovered electricity, and also invented the perv. So that's cool. Invented hooking. Um, so <laughs> that's what's up. Uh, what, let's go to, let's do some, um, uh, what do you call them? Misconnections uh, from L.A. Uh, L.A. Misconnections. L.A. Misconnections. Is that it? That's all you sent? Man, how about Kawhi? How about how he made a career off of a laugh? That's amazing. I mean, he's great, but that dude popped when he laughed boringly. Okay. Um, here we go. L.A. You gave me a hand job on a flight from JFK to LAX two nights ago. Wow. It's always so crazy how these people don't exchange numbers to me. Uh, I'm a guy, you're a girl. If this is you, I don't think I need to be too specific unless you do this often. LOL. Anyway, I can't stop thinking about this. I don't know why we didn't exchange info. Well, neither do I, you fucking weirdo, because she made you spurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, if, if someone makes you spurt, get their number. How about that, dude? What are you, a fucking Neanderthal? Do not contact me with unsolicited services or offers. I highly doubt that. I bet somebody would probably be like, well, I'll do it. And he'd be like, okay. Dude, imagine being on a flight. I've never done anything on a flight like that. Never. Mile High Club, people talk about that. I'm like, what? Oh, dude, you want to go into the bathroom together and fuck three, uh, 30,000 30, uh, miles in the air? Feet in the air? Sorry. 30,000 feet in the air? Are you f Are you out of your mind? Bustin' is for the ground. That's it. Save your bustin' for concrete. Here's another one. Gr Glory Hole Open North Hollywood. All one word, by the way. I guess like, I don't have time for spaces. Well, I mean, who are you fooling? We can read it. Glory Hole Open North Hollywood. Open now. Wow. This is an ad for a glory hole? Jesus Christ. Does this cost money? Boy. 
Glory Hall open now. now. Fucking cameo. On cameo. Uh, Glory Hall is open occasionally. Servicing anyone who is curious or wants anonymous setup. Private apartment parking in front. Door unlock, walk in, drop pants, and insert through GH. Hey, man, just write it out at this point, okay? It's like this guy doesn't have time. Bring your own porn, huh? As if that's not fucking sexy enough. Bring your own porn. Have towels and hand sanitizer for easy cleanup. Yeah, but bro, I know what it's for. Bust and go service. Bust and go. Discreet here, inquire within. Open to questions. North Hollywood area. Open around 10 a.m. and on. Imagine fucking getting your dick sucked through a hole before lunch. Yeah, I'll meet you at uh, El Pan. I'll meet you at Le Pain or whatever the fuck that place is. Yeah, I'll meet you at, at fucking Le Pain. But uh, we're going to 12. All right, cool. Yeah, it's in North Hollywood. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you at fucking Rusty's Pizza over in Burbank. Send picks a number for faster service and replies. Open now. Do not contact me with unsolicited services or offers. The whole thing is fucking unsolicited services or offers, dude. Got so many N-words for no reason. <laughs> All right, man. Well, if you want a glory hole, go hit up this fucking... What the fuck? Oh, pie licking and more. <laughs> Looking to eat someone out as long as they are clean. Okay. No background check. Be careful. Also, don't do it. I'll make sure you come multiple times. Yeah, he's got an ego. I'm 100% real. I have Snapchat if you want to get to know me. <laughs> Please send a pic along with email. Thanks. Do not solicit. Do not contact me with unsolicited services or offers. You know, it's like, I love when guys are like, I'll make sure you come. I love when guys are like, dude, I'm good in bed. That's so funny to me. To have a guy be like, to think that a guy's like that and he's like, hell yeah, all night long, here we go. And then as soon as he does, he's just like, oh, okay, well, sorry. Want to listen to some music? I mean, so many N words in that song. Never realized it. You know, it rhymes with bigger. Um, all right, so that's it. You know, Puff was twelve when they recorded that song. Um, all right, my babies, dude. We had a good episode. That was really fun. We got to get this fucking cameo going from Neo. Hopefully, he'll do it. Uh, download the Cash App for free on the App Store or Google Play Market. Uh, download the Crystalia app uh, where you can fo- watch me live uh, before anyone else does on the podcast. Uh, on the podcast, on congratulations. Uh, support the show by buying merch at store.crystalia.com or just go to crystalia.com and find and click through the shit. If you're not a fucking ignoramus, you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, get gift cards too if, or if you know someone's a fan. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, please. And rate and review the show. That really helps us on the iTunes shit. And on the charts and all that, uh, video episodes go up a day after the audio podcast. So thank you very much. And check me out in Hoover, Memphis, Chattanooga, and Knoxville this week. Still tickets left on some of those venues. Uh, Atlantic City and Tarrytown, New York. Thank you very much. Tarrytown, New York sounds like a big place. But I'm going there, I guess. Uh, and that's it. That's what's up. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys are great. And uh, I still got some big news coming. Haven't been able to fucking report it yet, but I will. Have a good one. Bye-bye.